So the short film, Bartholomew's Song, uh, was released in 2006. It was created by Frank Lowell, and it was nominated for it and won a whole bunch of different awards because it's a really interesting short film that takes about ten and a half minutes of space and tells a really amazing story about like life and human existence and all that stuff. So it does this by really getting involved in the mise-en-scene of the film and by using great acting and by really engaging in the intentionality of a short film, which is really fascinating to me because you really have to take advantage of the space and the time that you have and make everything count. So, first of all, the director does a really good job of exploring the mise-en-scene by creating a color scheme of like mint ugly green, plain white, um, by making everything very precise and clear cut, everything's like square, um, or he, poor main character lives in a box that he can't even stand up all the way in. Um, and everything is just very clear cut and precise. And so the director really does a good job of creating the aesthetic that life is boring and plain. And there's really nothing that exciting or interesting about it. And everyone wears white. And that's all. That's all that it is. Um, and he also does this by choosing to have background silence in the film. Which is really interesting because you usually tend to think of there being some sort of back like soundtrack to a movie. But he just has the sound of marching on a pavement. He has the sound of foam on a table and he has the sound of singing. And those sounds are really highlighted by the fact that there isn't any kind of soundtrack to the movie. So that's also a really great way that the director shows what he's trying to say in this film. Um, and he uses a lot of short scenes and continuity editing, editing and montage scenes to show the cinematic time as different from the real time. So a lot happens in this movie in a very, very short amount of time. And by choosing to use those editing techniques you can really get that feeling from the movie. So you go through the beginning of the movie feeling really bored because it's really boring <laughs> and you really want something to happen. And as soon as the character starts to develop, Bartholomew 467, um, he finds a music box and he takes the music box back, box back to his little house, his little apartment um, where there's nothing to do and he starts to listen to the music, he hears the singing, he sings along and he starts to imitate and find this beauty in something that is so different from the world that he lives in. Um, and he grows really tired of the foam block suction cup door stops that he's forced to make every day, day in, day out, all the time. And so he sort of pulls away from that world that he and his colleagues, colleagues exist in. And as he does that, you really get to watch his transition of sort of the human experience where he's sort of used to this world where everything is set for him and he does everything and he follows instructions and he just goes and goes and goes along with everyone else and then all of a sudden he pulls away and he becomes an individual. And when you see that happen, everyone can kind of identify with that. And it's really fascinating. And the way that the actor expresses himself does a really great job of pulling you into that story. So, all that said, um, the actor and the director both use a really, well, the actors, all the actors, use a really great, do a really great job of using the time that they have to tell their story. And at the end, Bartholomew 467 decides sort of spontaneously to go and stab the speaker woman at his workplace and sort of just sing to everyone because that's what he now understands as his purpose in the world. And he's not just a phone block maker anymore. And he sends a message to Bartholomew 584 after he's, you know, after 467 is labeled defective. And 584 is able to take that message and go out into the world himself. And so any kind of movie that sends that message um, is definitely a movie that gets 10 out of 10 stars from me. So Bartholomew's Song is a great short film.